Hi friends and welcome back to Up Close with Lauren Show and Tell. So today I'll be showcasing another Batman figure. This is Batman The Dark Knight Returns and this is part of the Build a Fig figure which is going to be the horse and this is going to be my first ever Build a Fig series and I'll start it off with Batman of course. All right. Ben McFarland Toys. So let's unbox it. So here friends is the action figure. Of course it comes in a clamshell just like any McFarland toys. And you have the trading card and the regular stand. The action figure comes with an extra pair of fists and some sort of a batarang with a built-in cord the tail of the horse and a pair of legs so let us further unbox this okay so it comes with the tail of the horse it's solid plastic not much give it there's a bit of a weight to it an extra pair of close fist okay and like I said a while ago, a batarang with an attached rope and a pair of horse's leg left and right and yeah some articulation right there and the hooves nice and same thing with this one here gradation there and oops okay now let's look at the Batman there we go the Batman so the Batman it looks true to the novel to the comics amazingly sculptured the ears are super short, stocky looking Batman. Look at the expression, the teeth, and you can do 360. And this bat signal here, the emblem, looks similar to Batflex Batman. You have, of course, the usual McFarland Toys butterfly hinge. You have, oh, so you only have single jointed here in the elbows. And nice that the ball joint is not as pronounced. The gauntlet, the gauntlet also a little bit not as long as others. And of course, you have trunk articulation and some waist articulation. Look down, look up, not so much. Oh, there's a huge gap here. And the utility belt, very army looking, isn't it? Oh, this one has a thigh cut, which is unusual for McFarland Toys. I guess so that he can actually hop onto the horse or ride the horse, right? And you have double jointed knees and ball jointed foot, so it here. And nice that it's not too pronounced and your toe articulation and of course this is a stocky stocky batman just look at, look at those thighs even the width of the boots and the crease it's just all the the detail crease on the pants here and even at the back nicely done back muscle and of course McFarland Toys is also quite known for different 
texture and different designs of capes. Gorgeous, gorgeous add on to my Batman McFarlane toys collection. And maybe you're wondering what happened to the rest of my collection. It's all so clean. Well, yes, it's clean because I declutter. <laughs> <laughs> I declutter because we have to declutter since you would have to move soon maybe in a few months time but we have to declutter so that we can show our place to would-be buyers and um, that is the reason friends why it's all clean the table here so all of my collection I've put each and every collection, each and every figure in its respective box and it was so time consuming. Um, it took me a weekend to do everything there. And let me just rotate this action figure. Huh? Very nice. So this is the first um, um, first of four build a fig for the horse for this line. Okay, so very nice. I'm loving this pad. And the thing though with action figure is that when you look at it with a toy in the box kind of look at it okay and then when you open it up and you look at it closely you're just liking it more and more you know and that's the mystery to it I don't know why but anyway so it the hand here has so you can hold on to the batarang I guess so friends this episode ends here if you haven't and if you do enjoy what you just watched don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification button as well so you will be informed every time I upload an episode or a video. Alright, from Batman here, like I to say, always be kind to yourself, always be kind to other people, love your collection, love your toys no matter what they are. Until the next one, bye!